this is a project I've been working on the last several nights using a PlayStation 2 controller to drive a motor. It is pressure sensitive. If I hold down the buttons lightly, it moves slowly. Increasing pressure speeds up the motor. The joystick is used as well. Moving it a little bit will move the motor slowly. Moving it more will speed it up. The first line up here is the joystick position or button pressure. The second line is the motor RPM that is calculated based on that. Micro adjustments can be made using L1 and R1. And uh, the motor can be disabled with the start button so that it doesn't overheat as it gets hot while it's enabled. And it can be re-enabled by pressing start again. And you see this LED indicates the status of that. That's about all there is to it. Uh, it's put together using a PlayStation 2 controller with the PS2X library for the Arduino, which I'm using an Arduino Uno, with the motor shield, LCD screen with the Adafruit LCD backpack, so I can just use two pins to drive it, and this is a four-wire bipolar stepper motor uh, ripped out of an old Okidata line printer. It's uh, around six volts, um, I believe seven and a half degrees. Overall, it's, uh, it was a pretty good project. came together pretty well. I do have some problems with the controller on occasion. Uh, not wanting to enter pressure mode and not wanting to rumble. It should be setting off the rumble motors right now and it's not. I really haven't been able to figure out why it um, is not always reliable, especially when I'm using an official uh, Sony controller. Uh, if I reset it, you can see it, no problems. However, now, after this reset, it's not detecting the pressure, in which case it just uses the uh, maximum RPM for the motor. And it's other times like this, I'm getting the error that pressure mode could not be entered. However, it actually is reading the pressure, and now the rumble is working. So, if anyone's got more experience with the PS2X library and you notice I'm doing anything really wrong in my code, let me know. I'd appreciate it because I can't figure out why it's not working every time. Overall, though, I'm pretty happy with it and it's been a fun project. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And uh, I'll have a web page with the code, some photos, and more details. Uh, when I get that done, I'll have it posted below. Thanks for watching.